Hey everybody, J.R. Specie here with another vintage pack break video and today we're digging into my archives a little bit and we're doing something that I'm so firmly against and you might ask what is that that I'm so firmly against and the answer is opening vintage packs because once they're opened they're no longer available to be opened or in the market or whatever in existence so uh, it just uh, slowly dries up the vintage and makes it harder and harder for you guys to find more of it. So, but the thing is, I told myself, you know what? You love, oh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> you love this stuff, JR. You want to open it. You love this hobby. It's not all about making money. Sometimes it's about having some fun and opening up some old stuff and just enjoying, uh, you know, the, the whole process of what it is. So I decided to grab a few packs out of my 86 Tops hockey box because I've been wanting to open these for... I've owned this box for several years and uh, I've always wanted to open them up, uh, at least some of them. Uh, so today I decided, you know what, you only live once. I have friends that have not been so lucky with living long lives and I just think if anything ever happened to me, my family get left with these things and they would get no enjoyment out of them other than maybe selling them. But that's not the same as the enjoyment that I would get out of opening them. So I decided to just kind of dig out a few packs that were kind of ugly. Like this one was in the bottom of the box, so it's kind of dirty and stuff. Uh, still a nice, clean, uh, fresh pack. Uh, never been tampered with or nothing, I know for a fact. And then we got this one. It's got a little bit of wrinkles on the bottom. So basically, I wanted to get some of these graded. So I took out the ones that I didn't think would get uh, high grades. This one's got a kind of wrinkly bottom. And I don't really know how PSA um, <laughs> grades those. But uh, I just decided to pull the trigger and I wanted to open up some of these. So here's the first time I'm opening up any of these things. This is the uh, on the bottom of the box. So kind of dirty. I'm going to save the wrappers because I love to. So just bear with me for one minute here, guys, while I enjoy this, while I save my wrapper. you got to be real careful with these. You think, just when you think that you're, you're not going to rip it, you rip it. So you got to be real careful with these things. Now, what's the big rookie in here, you wonder? Obviously, if you're not a hockey fan, you wouldn't know. But I'm here to tell you who it is. It is the man, Patrick Wah. You also got a Wendell Clark in here and a couple other guys too. Um, some other notable mentions are going to be uh, Wayne Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, and the rest of the big guys. And this is one thing I thought is really cool about these. Check this out. There's your gum. And they actually wrapped it. <laughs> How cool is that? It's got an 84 copyright date right there on the, on the wrapper. But there's your gum. Original bazooka bubble gum in the wrapper with the comic. So that's pretty cool. Look at all that old dust in there. <laughs> Paper dust. Let's get it out of here. Like I said, guys, just bear with me. Please don't rush me on this. I just like to enjoy and savor the moment because I'm not going to do this again. Um, I'm going to hopefully pull out something halfway decent that we can send off to PSA. And we will see how that goes, okay? So I think you get one sticker per pack on these things right here. Yeah, one sticker, and the sticker's going to be your all-star. And it's John Van Beesbrook. So that's pretty darn good. Can't complain there. That's your sticker. Number one sticker in the set. Great goalie back in the day. Alrighty. And there's your Mike Lewitt. A little bit of a powder dust right there. Very nice. Come right off though. Paul Coffey, good, good, good ball player. You know, if uh, if if we can call a puck a ball in this instance, played with the great one, Scott Stevens. These are very nicely centered. Pat Lafontaine, very nicely centered. Uh, corners are pretty crisp on these guys. Not gonna lie. Uh, no idea what to expect. It's not a huge set, so you got a fair chance at something halfway decent. Brian Erickson. And then the second half of the pack, Don Maloney, Alan Haworth. And uh, let's take a quick peek at the back of these just for those who have never seen them before. There you go. Not too shabby. Uh, Pat Verbeek. Brent Suter. Dave Williams. One of those horrible old Kings uniforms. <laughs> Uh, Los Angeles Lakers colors. <laughs> Doug Keens. Oh, there we go. Mario Lemieux. Oh, my gosh. But look at the corner. Oh, gosh. 
Uh, we pulled a second year Lemieux, guys, and he's got a little dinged corner, that little little rolled up piece. Mike Gartner, okay, let's just clean that up a little bit. Luckily, I haven't cut my fingernail since I've been in quarantine. Oh, come on. That's been sitting like that for a long, long time. Not sure if we can get that back down to make it look a little bit more presentable. Come on, there we go. I get a little something underneath there. There we go. Alright, not as ugly as it was. But we pulled a Lemieux. How do you like that? The only card in the whole pack that had any kind of damage. Uh, the rest of this pack was super sweet. But you know what? That's what you get when you're buying old stuff. I mean, these old cards, man, they were not quality controlled very well. So, <laughs> who's going to complain about pulling a Patrick Lemieux second year card? Oh, it's pretty freaking awesome, actually. I'm pretty stoked about it. I'm not going to lie. So that was a pretty fun pack, guys. All right, let's get into the second one here. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad I did this. This one, look at that. doesn't even stick. You know what? doesn't mean anything. Um, because actually the pack, uh, is nice and intact, uh, everywhere else it's supposed to be. Uh, you do have to worry about, um, packs being, uh, tampered with, obviously. Um, if I say I know for a fact that mine aren't, it's because I got them from a very reliable source who had them since his dealer days, so. And plus, you wouldn't have pulled of a Mario Lemieux out of the first pack if they were damaged or, or tampered with I'm sorry so there's your gum again very cool bazooka joe gum oh and we dropped it and then a bunch of pack dust we're going to shake that out over here uh, that pack had a little a little bit of a let's see here a little tear in it right there so I'm glad we chose this pack to open to because um, I like to save the ones that are really nice and use them um, and just maybe get them graded. Uh, not to resell. I don't want to resell these things, guys. I like to get them graded, and I really like to just display them and preserve them and save them. So, all right, we got a pretty good guy on the back here. Let's see what we get in the front here, though. Okay. Thanks, guys, for being patient and letting me just enjoy this this time. There we go. <clears throat> nice Paul Coffee All Star card. Cool card. Daryl Suter. Dennis Savard. Nice old Black Hawk. Mark Hunter. Again, these cards are really nice, guys. Bill uh, Hot, I think is how you say his last name. Rod Langway. Mike Ramsey. Ramsey, sorry. Tom Barrasso. And the second half, Dennis Marouk. Steve Iserman, very nice, nice Iserman. That's a third year, I think, for him. Now let's take off the bazooka and put him up here. John Tanelli. Oh, upside down here. Let's take a look. Craig Hartsburg. Doug Lidster. A checklist. And Gordy Roberts of the North Stars. And then the last one is going to be a stud, Doug Gilmore. Great center for the Blues back then. Alright, that's a good one there too, guys. Huh? Centering's pretty nice on these. Alrighty, I'm going to save this last peg here for something else good. I could have put the Gilmore on there, but I really wanted to put... I really like to put a, a wah on there, or a Gretzky, <laughs> obviously. So, there we go. Let's just take our time opening these, making sure not to rip anything. We don't want to tear them. Alrighty. Last pack, guys, and then we're going to call her good on these, because I don't want to open any more. <laughs> I'm not like the collector who likes to open his um, searching for cards. I mean, you know, he, he, yeah, you got to enjoy your cards, you know. I mean, that's the whole point of this hobby. It's not all about making money. I try telling you guys that a lot. It's about enjoying the hobby. Uh, I got a double in this one, it looks like. Okay. I think I got this one card in the last pack, but uh, Peter Klima. 
Very nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. We pulled a Patrick Waugh rookie, you guys. Oh my gosh. I absolutely did not think there was a chance in heck I was going to pull one. I literally just wanted to open some of these so bad. I literally, I pulled out three packs and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to pull out my three ugliest packs because they're not going to do well in grading. So I literally went back through the whole box. I pulled out the ugliest packs with any kind of flaws. What are the odds, you guys? What are the odds? I don't know. Not very good. But this is awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at the centering and stuff. Can I just take a second, guys, and sleeve it up? Hold on one second here. I got sleeves right here by me just in case. I had them. Oh, here they are. Oh my gosh. I just got an adrenaline rush like you wouldn't even believe. Like you wouldn't even believe. I was like, man, I don't know. I don't. This is like $100 in packs, just, just raw packs, ungraded, without even a... Without even, uh, um, without getting them graded, it's like a hundred dollars in packs easily. I was like, I don't know if I want to open up a hundred dollars in packs just to do a video and just to show some comments. But I said, you know what? I want to open these. Uh, I'm going to enjoy it. If I can get this thing in here without damaging the corner. These new sleeves. I don't like these new sleeves very much because they're kind of slightly curved. Let's try one more time. Okay, I don't like that one either. There we go. Oh man, that's pretty guys. Isn't it pretty? Pretty, pretty card. Wow, I am so excited. I am so excited. I am so... Did I say I was excited yet? Yes, I am so excited. I saw that one double in here, which you'll see in a second, and I was like, oh, no, I go with the double. What are you going to do? Um, maybe this is going to be like a repeat pack. And apparently it wasn't so. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Is that so beautiful or what? Oh, I'm so glad you guys were able to watch me open these packs. Alrighty, let's just keep going. Maybe we'll get something else. I don't really care if I do or not. I'm so excited about that. Don Maloney, Alan Hallworth, Pat Verbeek. We've seen him, I think, already. Brent Sutter, he's the one that I saw. Uh, there's a nice capital sticker. Bob Murray. I'm so excited. Roberto Rame uh, Romano. He's a little guy, I think, wasn't he? Five foot six. Yeah, a little guy. Little Canadian guy. Little Quebecy. I've been up there before. It's beautiful up in Montreal. Mike Bossy. That's a decent one. Alrighty. Reed Larson. Ray Joe. I don't even know how to say his last name. And Bob Bourne. Nice looking cards. Very nice. But oh my gosh, guys. I'm so excited. Look at that. Can you believe? Did you come into this video expecting us to pull a Patrick Waugh? I did not. Um, so I'm very... <laughs> Very happy. Overall condition is 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 pretty darn nice, guys. It's not a uh, it's not gem mint. Uh, of course, you guys know I do a lot of grading, so I already know it's not a gem mint. But it is at least. Uh, I would say they'll they'll probably give this. I mean, she's got some fuzz on top, which is totally normal, just from uh, the basically just from the old cuts and stuff. Let's see if I can't get that right there. Just a little kind of. You can kind of see it on this side over here on the right. A little fuzz, but that's totally to be expected. And it's actually pretty easy to clean up. Uh, but I'm not going to mess around with it. Because that's a beautiful pack fresh, pack pulled Patrick Waugh rookie card. And I am stoked to have been able to pull that. <laughs> uh, nice Patrick, uh, sorry, Mario Lemieux, second year. And nice Steve Eiserman. Got the Doug Gilmore in there, a couple of the good cards. But, oh man, I'm happy. Alright guys, stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to do some other vintage packs. Only a few though, like I said. Alright, you guys have a great rest of the day. Later.